Hello my dear student, today I am going to discuss about Edexcel IGCAC Certificate in Physics Past Question Paper Solve Class Unit 1 Chapter 1 Movement and Position Chapter Wise Past Question Paper Solution I am Jangir Alam here, I am a physics teacher, my contact number is 01717979515 Question number 1 A bus transports passengers Question A The bus stops at a certain point in its journey to let passengers get on or off the bus the distance time graph shows parts of the bus journey with section leveled A to G. Distance in kilometer and time in minutes. Question number one. Give the letters of the section where the bus is stationary. It is a distance time graph. What is stationary or rest when any object does not change its position with surrounding environment with time then it is called at rest or stationary. So from the distance time graph where distance remains same that part represent that section represent the bus is stationary. Look at the graph B, D and F in three portion distance remain same. So answer will be B, D and F. So when distance time graph, when distance time graph remains same say here it is time in units second and distance minute remains same then it represent that portion represent it is a is a stationary or at rest remember at rest or or stationary stationary in velocity time graph in velocity time graph in velocity time graph if velocity is zero then that portion indicate the object is at rest. So look at the diagram here. Here at CD, CD is at rest. At rest. CD portion is at rest. So because here velocity is zero. In acceleration time graph. Acceleration time graph Acceleration time graph We cannot fully understand which portion represent the object is at rest that means here acceleration will be zero acceleration will be zero that means the object is at rest at rest so here give the letters of the section where the bus is stationary answer will be B D and F because here distance 
remains same for a certain period of time. Distance remains same for a certain period of time. Certain period of time. Clear? Next, calculate the speed. Calculate the speed of the bus during section C of the journey. Give your answer in meter per second. We know, <coughs> we know speed equal to speed equal to speed at section C C equal to gradient gradient or slope gradient here distance travel 2.6 kilometer in 2 minutes 2 minutes 2.6 kilometer 2.6 kilometer we have to convert into meter divide 2 into 60 second so 22 meter per second 22 meter per second so look at the graph here again look at the graph in section c section c initial speed initial speed we have to find out the gradient of this portion so change in distance change in time here distance 1.8 uh, kilometer and here 4.4 kilometer so uh, change in distance here change in distance 4.4 uh, minus 1.8 that means 2.6 kilometer 2.6 kilometer on the other hand change in time here uh, starting time 5 and ending time 7 minute so delta t delta t in 7 minus 5 so 2 minutes 2 minutes 2 minutes that's why that's why speed at section c equal to gradient or slope of the distance triangle so change in distance here a uh, change in distance change in distance divided by change in time change in distance 2.6 kilometer and change in time two minutes so 2.6 into 1000 meter 2 into 60 second 22 meter per second So here answer is 22 meter per second. Actual answer is 21.7 meter per second. Approximately 22 meter per second. Explain what happened. Explain what the graph shows about the speed of the bus in section E compared with the speed of the bus in section A. Explain what the graph shows about the speed of the bus in section E compared with the speed of the bus in section A. Look at the graph first. A. A and E. A and E. A is more steeper. So, so the speed of the bus, the speed of the bus of the bus is greater is greater in section A that of <coughs> that of 
that of in section E because the line is steeper steeper or gradient is larger now another bus travel a distance 7 km in 14 minutes this bus travels at constant velocity first we have to find out the constant velocity constant velocity velocity uh, velocity equal to distance divided by time taken <clears throat> here distance distance 7 7 kilometer and uh, time 14 minutes look at the uh, graph uh, velocity in kilometer per uh, kilometer per minute so 0 0.5 kilometer per minute minute so here is the 0 0.5 so answer graph like this so 0 0.5 0 0.5 uh, kilometer per minute so a single horizontal line drawn horizontal line drawn at 0 0.5 kilometer is the answer in the mark scheme so uh, if the velocity time graph is horizontal to the time axis then it represents it is constant velocity question number two this question is about small flying insect called a bee. A, a the photograph shows a bee accelerating vertically upward. Accelerating vertically upward. Complete the diagram by adding another level force arrow. So there is a upward lift force. Lift force. There is a upward lift force. So complete the diagram adding another level arrow so weight force or gravitational gravitational force force or weight force or weight force adds downwards weight the graph shows 60 second journey made by the B. A, B, C, D. Which stage the graph shows the stopping at floor for the shortest period of time. Here, the graph, the graph represent the B was, uh, remains stationary, remains stationary at A, B, B portion and D. But here question which stays the graph shows the B stopping at at a floor for a shortest period of time. Here 10 second to 18. 18 that means 8 second. Here it is 8 second. 8 second. 8 second. 8 second on the other hand here about a 9 second 9 second so shortest period of time here stays B which stage of the graph shows the B moving at fastest speed A because because here line is more steep or the gradient is larger 
for section A is take the equation linking average speed. We know average speed equal to average speed speed equal to distance moved distance moved divided by time taken time taken so calculate the average speed of the b during the first 35 second journey 35 second of its journey we know average speed equal to average speed equal to distance moved distance moved first 35 second first 35 second that means here here it is 35 second so 35 second so here a distance travel distance travel 20 total distance travel distance moved by b 20 meter in 15 second 15 second so answer will be 20 divided by 15 20 20 divided by 15 so 1.33 1.33 meter per second so answer will be 1.33 Ultraviolet waves are used by bees to identify marking on the flowers. Is that another use of ultraviolet waves? Ultraviolet ray, ultraviolet wave, UV wave are used to identify fake currency fake currency they both electromagnetic wave wave they transfer energy transfer energy This is a similarity. <laughs> Similarities and difference different frequency and wavelength another they have different energy they have different energy different energy because energy of the electromagnetic wave depends on frequency depends on frequency